Okay, good morning. Um, so I had a little talk with Michael yesterday, and we talked about NT right like we always do. And um, well, I just woke up this morning at 4:30 to do some Bible study, and uh, I came to a point where I stopped watching Raw Bell interviews, and I wanted to study the Bible for myself. And so um, the heart of this debate between NT right and the reformers is the works of the law, and like there's two sides of it um nt wright is claiming that the works of the law that paul was talking about in galatians was food laws and ceremonial laws and um martin luther and all the reformers think or claim that well i've always claimed that it is like the old testament law like keeping the law like the ten commandments and all the stuff in, in that so like I wanted to read Galatians this morning just to see for myself because I was tired of reading other outside sources. And I was reading it, and this is where I came to, so I'm just going to read it through. Paul, an apostle, not from men nor through man, but through Jesus Christ and God the Father, who raised him from the dead, and all the brothers who are with me, to the churches of Galatia. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ and are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there is some who are troubled and do not want to distort the gospel of Christ. But even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to you another gospel contrary to the one you have pre we have preached, let him be accursed. We say this again, let him be accursed. For I am now seeking the approval of man, or for am I seeking the approval of man or of God? For am I trying to please man? If I were trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. For I would not have known you, brothers. For I would not have. For I would have you know, brothers, that the gospel that we have pre preached is not for man's gospel. I did not receive it from man. I was taught and received it through revelation of Jesus Christ. For in my former life in Judaism, I was a persecutor of the church, and I tried to destroy it. I was advancing in Judaism, but I was my, beyond my own, own my own age. So zealous that I was for the traditions of my fathers. But he sent me apart before I was born. It's predestination right there. And who called me by his grace? That's irresistible grace right there. Well, that's if you import Calvinism into the text, as I've been told. Well, please to reveal his sons to me, in order that I might preach him among Gentiles. I did not immediately consult with anyone, nor did I go up to Jerusalem, blah, 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 blah. Three years, so he was in the desert three years. And then he went to other places okay so I'm just gonna go through because this video can only be five minutes so I'm gonna just go to the text that I originally was wanting this video for so this talks about like Paul and Peter and the food uh, eating with the Jews and the Gentiles and um, Paul opposes Peter when uh, Peter gives in to the Jew Jewish way and he um, brings other people he brings the um, the Jews with him um, so they act they act out basically he messed up and he brought a bunch of people down with him so Paul was pretty pissed at him um, you can read commentaries on that but I don't really know enough to just give you it for myself but okay so I keep reading and then this is the point where the big debate comes in is Galatians 3 um, oh foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? It was it was before your eyes that Jesus Christ was publicly portrayed as crucified. Let me ask you this: Did you receive the spirit of the law? Blah blah blah. Okay, so he's talking about the law here. Um, okay, so this is the verse I have problems with. This is the first verse I stopped and I was like, what? As it says, for all who rely on the works of the law are under a curse. So this is the same law he's talking about before. This is all, all up here. He's still talking about the law. The same law under a curse was written. Cursed be anyone who does not abide by all things written in the book of the law. Okay, so I'm going to stop this video for a sec because we need a part two. Let's just go to part two. This is where we're stopping. Boom. Verse 10.